hello 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 i'm the painted dog and we are playing room world and as you can remember from our last episode we have a wanderer that wants to join our colony he's a model and his traits are beautiful and aesthetic now do we accept him you know what let's accept him no one's chasing him he has a bite scar He's really good with social and animals, but I'm going to let him do animals. But he basically can't do anything except melee, social, animals, and autistic. So with that in mind, he'll be our chief negotiator and artist. So let's get him set up. What's the rest of his traits? Beautiful and aesthetic. He doesn't like the too impressive bedroom, so that's fine okay great now let's re take off this restriction work you'll be our new negotiator and warden now that would do let's bump you up to a four And you're going to be a chief artist. You're only going to do art. That's all you're doing. So with that in mind, we need some form. A sculptor's table. That's what I'm looking for. Research. Who's our researcher? He or she's... Oh, Sheree. Angie has some passion for research so let's let's use that but i actually want sherry to do the research work so well uh, for now chat and recruit you uh, as soon as you are healed we'll send you on your way we won't really as you can see enemy of a blade as minus 94 Yeah, basically, but like us, minus 94. So we'll see what we can do about that. We're always low on wood. And I really need to build, I keep saying this and I keep on forgetting. We need a guest room. So, you know what? And an eclipse. Great. Seriously great. Let's wall this up as well. Pablo, I'm going to put you back on crafting duty. If you aren't busy with growing, plant cutting, you'll be crafting. You are from Purple Valley Union. Purple Valley, minus 32. We really need to impress you. Do you know what? Social... Ah, uh, guest. Always try to entertain. Mm, oh, at, at least try to entertain. If you don't know this, this is one of the mods I'm running. So basically, people, if they are impressed with your with your, with your colony, they can have option of staying. Oh no, he's asleep. Now we actually need a sleeping spot at least for you. So let's put that down. And we need to build you a room. Seriously, we need another room. So this was a 9 by 5. So we need to make this. Why did I place the wall over there? Seriously. Why did I do that? So let's do something like that. I know that will get mined out. But with that in mind, let's do something like that. One, two, three, four, five. So it's basically from there. 
limestone block. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's now. Uh, I'm, but I'm going to take out those walls. The same with this side. So that would be fine. And now we want a door as well. You know what, Angie? Can you product us whipping on these walls? I know I'm basically shunting you around. Now Pablo is walking around, back and forth, getting smoke leaf. So you know what? Let's help him out. Raw resources, plant matter, smoke leaf. Now we're going to copy those settings and paste it over there. Now Pablo, my man, can you please go and... Normal. NG. We have a skill of 10, and you still waste material. Who's a hunter? Beltran, you aren't hunting. Okay, let's see what they have to trade. They only have 149. We can't really sell them all our stuff. Let's rather see if, we, if there's anything we, we want to... Oh, there's nothing we want to buy. So let's sell them as much of our smoke leaf joints as possible. And get in all that silver. Okay, how's your health? Almost healed. Now I'm really contemplating in making this, making room over here, and making this a guest room. I believe that's what we will be doing. The stay was okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll live with okay. Now let's extend this growing zone, since we're always running out of wood. No, no, I don't want to extend that. I want to make a completely new growing zone for trees. So now we can try, let's check to see what has the lowest growing time. 30 days, poplar tree, 15 days, pine tree, 20 days. Now I know you get different amounts of wood from all of them, but that's fine. That's fine. I want basically wood that can grow extremely fast and can give us loads of wood. 14 days. You know what? Let's make this poplar tree. Pablo, what are you doing? Okay, you're cranking out the blocks. Limestone, limestone, awesome. Awesome, awesome, I like it. You know what, let's demolish that for now. Let's deconstruct that. So Angie can come out and build that block. Otherwise she has to go, oh, that's not basically that far. Let's do something like that. Okay, now everyone except Beltran is going to sleep. Because we need to add a bull. Let's make a grand sculpture and... Uh, I don't want him using steel, wood or vancidium. Only use stone blocks. And you know what? Don't even use limestone blocks. Do this until you have... No, uh, three. I'll say three. Now let's make this two. Start this when you... Restart this when you only have one left. And do this until you have... Just drop it on the... You know what? You aren't make really going to do that. You won't be cranking out a lot of sculptures. So that's fine. Do until you have, let's say, three. And as soon as you have one, you 
and restart that. And just to let's set the allowed artistic skill at at least eight. I would say that would do. And the same with our large sculptures. Because Beltran has a skill level of 10. So that would be fine. And for large sculptures, only use. You can use everything except for limestone blocks. Now you have finished your training with that. Let's get release and rescuers. Although release is not really that critical now. Let's get, at least get rescue. NG. Can you prioritize holding that as please? Do you want to recruit you? No, we don't. So let's. We won't be getting any goodwill from letting Lucky go, but. <gasps> Caravan is approaching. Okay, so usually when a, a prisoner leaves the map in healthy condition, you get some goodwill from. The faction they are part of. But I don't think we'll be getting any good wolf from the blades. But we'll see. I can buy a monkey. They have advanced trainable intelligence, but they can't really carry anything. So I won't be buying any monkeys. We can buy herbal medicine, but we're producing our own now, so that's fine. We have 1,500, so let's get all the money we can from them by selling our smoke leaf joints. Let's sell our wooden club. We won't be getting anything from it. Let's just keep that for now. So we're making 489 silver from that deal, so that's fine. I'll live with that. So NG. Will you be completing this this episode? Please tell me you will be completing this wall before the end of this episode. Our cormorant is basically bring her blocks. That's great. I like that. I really love that I have a mod included that the person with the highest skill available will be completing that specific task. For instance, uh, not a specific task for building. So I like that. Now, because NG has the highest construction skill, she will be completing the all the building. So we get specialized workers. Now, uh, we're almost walled in completely, except for this spot. So we need to start building up our defenses. We have 31 components. Okay, no steel. Because everything is still down here. But let's get this mine out. Since we are waiting, our Cobra not really doing anything. Let's get all that mined out. And then we want to start getting in our Oh, we didn't research that yet. Who's our researcher again? Cherie and Angie. You know what, Cormoran? If you are not mining, hauling, you'll be doing research. Although you have a skill of zero, and Cherie has a skill of eight. You know what? I'm really tempted. Let's bump up your hauling basically. So you'll grow, you'll cut plants, you'll manage and then you'll cook or water. Oh, let's take the watering down. We have a great water now. So you basically cook, hunt and then research. That's great. We need to get the research done. Now with that in mind, we need certain things. We need microelectronics. So research that. Because then we can unlock geothermal power Multi-analyzer, gun turrets, all that.
Pablo, what are you doing? Cutting stone blocks. Awesome. All these, you know, all these limestone blocks. Awesome. I like that. I should actually make a small dumping stockpile over here for just limestone blocks. I'll make this limestone blocks until we get the high tech research bench. Yeah, that would work. We'll place that in here. Okay, that got done. So you know what? Re let's reinstall this over there. Want to extend this a bit. And I actually want to move these graves. Uh, let's place them over here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now actually, if you want your village, not villages, your colonists, to really level up their building skill, it's great idea to place down these graves because it doesn't take any resources and you can basically build them and delete them afterwards. Okay, another supplier. Great. So as soon as Beltrum is up and they are closer, we'll get him to talk to our visitors. You know what? Stop making a grand statue and trade with Latch. Let's draft you for now. Let's see where they will be going. Because I can't see their flag. And if they, if, I don't even know if they placed down a flag as traders. Okay, six mortar shells. Let's take that. Because we can't really produce mortar shells now. And that's something I also want. I want my own mortars. Or not mortars. Mortars of artillery shells. If we have a poison ship or something like that. I will never do hauling. That's why I don't like people that can't haul. you're really awesome I really appreciate your work truly I do where's Cormorant now oh he's digging a compacted steel great I like it I like it when my colonists I keep on saying villagers I've been playing Age of Empires since I was small really tiny tiny human I'm oh, not really that tiny only got a PC when I was about 14 no 13 so then I, I started playing Age of Empires and basically all my workers are now villagers yeah I know it's crazy but that's just the way I remember stuff now now for our managing for hunting. Okay, that's unrestricted hunting. Okay, that's great. Did we do any research as of yet? No, we didn't. Cherie, what are you doing? Seriously. Can you stop panning around and just get this done? It's cooking, hunting. Okay, it's grow, plant cut, managing. Cooking, hunting, research. It's not that difficult. You know what? Let's turn down. We have 36 simple new meals. Let's change this cook simple meals forever and let's do until you have something like 60. 
and you can start again as soon as you drop below 30. Yeah, that's fine. You know, everyone has a place to sleep, which is kind of great. And now all those greys are dug, so let's check our character. Level 12. Awesome. Okay, with that in mind, let's de deconstruct these graves. Let's just deconstruct them. I know people might get upset if they see another person, but that's fine for now. We want them moved over here. Actually, not even over there. want them as far away as possible. Now they might impede on our kill zone, but that's fine. All these can be deconstructed, thank you. Consume a simple meal and get to work. Otherwise I'm taking away your rations. Now, if you look at the skills here, just building these graves are really helping with skill levels. A local alpaca has gone mad. So then you have to die. Who's a hunter? I believe it's Cherie. Yes, Cherie or Cormorant or NG. Where are you? You know what? I believe that Al Mad Alpaca is coming around here. So can you please do something about sensible about this? Can you come down here please? Cherie? There you go! So now we can expand our buildings as well, but first I need to set up some sort of kill box. Just something that will help us. Even just a little bit will be fine. Mm, now you know what? Let's do this a little bit more down here. One, two, three. I think that would be fine like that. And for now, let's make limestone doors as well. That's a bit too far. Uh, because I don't want my colonists going all the way around just to get something that's just outside here but the problem is now they can basically attempt to attack our doors so that's why i'm double dooring these areas later i want to change this to steel auto doors and now we have a man hunted back so guys let's see what it is a, man, a pack of man-hunting wild boars have entered the area. They will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. They can't pass doors, so if you stay behind walls, you should be safe. They won't attack in inactive turrets, so turn your turrets off if you want to save them. They leave the area in a few days. Let's see how many there are. Now, we won't be able to take down six of these without any defense. If we got this done, that would have been awesome, but we didn't get this done. So, I'm going to take everyone inside, and let's see what happens. So this might be a bit of a boring episode for the next one. But, it's for our own safety. For my colonists' own safety. So let's 
new area, we'll make this rename this to Manhunter Pack. So now I know that if we have a Manhunter Pack, I'm just going to restrict everyone to Manhunter. And now I have to say what the Manhunter Pack zone is. So let's do something like that. I like including these walls on the inside as well, just because if it gets damaged, they can repair it. That's the only, only reason why. So since there might have been scales to do something outside, let's recruit them and send them back. But guys, this is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one. Cheerio!